Welcome back. The annual Santa Market Craft Show kicks off at the Oklahoma City Fairgrounds in the Pavilion and Centennial Buildings. Yeah, 180 vendors will have great Christmas gift ideas for your loved ones. News 9's Colby Thielen live out at the Santa Market. And Colby, nice sweater, bud. Ooh, looking sharp. Yes, thank you. I get to break it out, you know, once or twice a year, and every time it makes me a little happier than the last. And I tell you what, even just walking in the door, just the smell and hearing the music, it puts you immediately into the holiday spirit. And so much of the stuff here, Reese, whether you want signs or you need a tree, most of the stuff is made by local vendors here. So it's a great opportunity to come out and spend some time with the family. I want to bring in Megan Nye, one of the organizers, and we're going to talk all about why we're here in a second. But first, I want to ask what people can expect when they come out here this weekend. Yeah, it's just a fun, free family event. We should do not charge admission. We have free parking, free photos with Santa, free shopping bags. Um, we just hope that you'll throw some money in the jug and all that money goes to Alzheimer's. It's two full days, uh, Oklahoma State Fair Park, Pavilion and Centennial Building, nine to four, today and tomorrow. And so when folks come out here, you're thinking holiday market, they can shop, uh, they can get snacks, they can take pictures with Santa. What are some of the things people can do? What are the, all the things that you're offering here? Um, we have gourmet food, pet items, boutique clothing, uh, handcrafted. This is, we have so many handcrafted vendors and we just, we want to support our local businesses. Yeah. And you're saying a lot of the folks are local just from yes, right here. Yes, yes. We have so many talented people in Oklahoma, and we get them all in one spot. Megan, thanks so much. And we want to talk about uh, a lot of this money is going to Alzheimer's Association. All the money is going to Alzheimer's Association. But why was it started in the first place? Let's bring in Joan Clark. Joan, you guys started this now 12 years ago. This is, yeah, this is our 12th year, and uh, it has just grown tremendously. The first two years it was kind of small. We only had a couple tables. And, and then by the time we got to the third year, we realized it was a lot of work. And so we decided, OK, we would do this for the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, I lost my husband in 2007. And it's, you know, obviously it's a major part of our lives. And so we have grown every year and we just keep adding and adding and we get more and more people involved. Uh, we have so many people that have, I mean, even people like that come and have donated their time to tape the floors for us so that we don't have to pay for that. People that donated a balloon arch, okay, see balloon. And just to add to the ambiance of the show. And, um, I mean, we just have lots of people like that, and more and more people keep getting involved. You know, they hear about it, they know what we're doing. All of the proceeds goes to the Alzheimer's Association here in Oklahoma City, and we are so happy with that. We just raised our tote board to $13,191. It's not even 10 o'clock. It's not, not even 10 o'clock. <laughs> and um, last year we raised 38000 even with COVID. So we're hoping to go higher this year, and... Um, you know, God bless the Alzheimer's Association because they are what got me through. Uh, emotionally, mentally, physically, I, I, can't, I could never have done it without them. So we work very hard. Last two years, we have been the number two team fundraiser in Oklahoma City. Uh, last year, I think there was 237 teams. This year, there's 600, the year before, there was 634. So wow. we're really happy. We really, you know, really proud of what we've accomplished Absolutely. and the family gets involved everybody the kids the grandkids nieces nephews everybody works to try and put this on amazing i know they're thankful for you joan thanks so much thank and you we're going to be reporting here all morning it's going to be fantastic come out help us out we're at the state fairgrounds colby thieler oklahoma zone who's not